I got into driving because you're seeing the world throughout the windshield of a truck, basically. When I was three years old, I told my mom I was going to be a lady trucker. I chose to start driving semi for the independence and freedom in Falcon Transport. It's a real good company to work for. Falcon Transport was initiated in 1903. It started with two horses and a buggy, and now we're about a thousand trucks. So what do you do? I buy companies. What kind of companies? Uh, I buy companies that are in financial difficulty. First day. You try to lie low, get the lay of the land. But then Autoblog.com calls your interior Lexus quiet. An automobile magazine goes comparing you to a Cadillac. GM citing a shift to focus more on automation and high SUV sales. The company announcing they're eliminating the low-selling Chevrolet Cruze, Volt, and Impala cars from their roster. Today it is the end of the line for the General Motors plant in Lordstown, Ohio. Today that plant will assemble assemble their last Chevy Cruze before closing their doors for good on Friday. This is the first of five North American facilities GM will idle this year, leaving thousands of workers without a job. We regret to inform you that Falcon Transport Company is not able to continue operations and will be shutting down effective today. Please stop any work you are doing for the company immediately. You are not expected to return to work. This caught workers by surprise. Now here are the stories they shared with me today. Nicole Rupert got the email last night. She worked for Falcon for four years. I specialized in booking loads and freight for our drivers to do anything with, basically. Office employees left work on Friday without a clue that something was about to happen. My fiance worked there as well, so we're, we're both out of work. My best friend worked there. My future mother-in-law worked there. So we're all kind of just in the same boat. She says people who worked out of the terminals, like the one in Austin Town, are lucky. A lot of the drivers that I dealt with were local here, so good, good for them. They're all home, but there are a few drivers who are displaced over the road. Oliver Ford is one of those drivers. I am in Toms Brook, Virginia. I'm just going to leave the truck here. I don't have a job. The company's out of business, so apparently they don't care about us. So I'm, you know, turnabout spare play. What's good for the goose is good for the gander, so... Hey, your truck's in Tomsburg, Virginia. Go get it. Like many drivers, Ford is owed three weeks' pay. They do take very good care of you. I got diagnosed with cancer. Falcon supported me like I was a family member. My future at Falcon looks like me being 100 years old and still driving down the road in a Falcon transport truck. <laughs>